What's up, everybody? Noah is back here for my review of the menu. I was saving my top 20 of 2022 for this movie. I have not seen Tar. I have not seen Avatar. I have not seen a few other films, but this is the one I was most concerned about cracking the top 10. So the menu is all about a couple travels to a coastal island to eat at an exclusive restaurant where the chef, played by Ray Fiennes, has prepared a lavish menu. With some shocking surprises, this is a mystery horror thriller comedy that is not only hilarious, but unnerving. Ray Fiennes deserves an award-winning performance here. He is phenomenal in this role, as is Anya Taylor-Joy. We also have Hong Chow, Nicholas Holt, John Leguizamo, Judith Light, and many, many others, including Janet McTeer. This is a masterfully directed and masterfully written film that has cracked my top five of the entire year. It's now number four. A little bit of a spoiler, but one of my top three you'll have to see when I get to that list up next. The Menu is a phenomenal film that delivers on the not only comedy but unnerving task of delivering food, but also having a chef who is not only intimidating, but also weirdly funny. And you feel for him as well because you give him a bit of a backstory about why he is like this. What happened, and you get backgrounds be, uh, behind each of the dishes, including what goes into them, including one that involves a great comedic scene, while also delivers the well-known feeling that many, many chefs have felt, many, many cooks and chefs have felt while trying to get a job at a restaurant. One, you are unnerved because you have multiple people watching you if you're in the right restaurant, but also the head chef is watching you to potentially give you a job here. This is an unnerving film that delivers beautifully done performances that not only unnerved me, but made me really, really laugh hard with beautiful cinematography, masterful costume design, especially for the dress of Anya Taylor-Joy's character named Margot. Ray Fine's chef is tremendous. Tyler, played by Nicholas Holt, is a, a really interesting character here. He's funny. He's an a-hole. He is a foodie. He's there to to basically praise this food no matter what. And Hong Chow as Elsa is freaking fantastic. I loved almost everything about this film. There was a couple scenes I thought you could have cut out of this film. But besides that, a masterfully done film. One of my favorite films of the entire year. I'm going to end up giving this an A. I loved the menu so, so much. Crack my top five of the entire year. I will show you guys next time for my top 20 films with some honorable mentions of 2022, and then my top 10 worst of 2022. I will show you guys next time.